Speaking of playing a game, Caleb Williams plays this particular game that we love, college football, at a very high level. Uh, you might even call it a Heisman level. In fact, you do call it that now. And I was really glad to see him get this award because for years, the Heisman has not always been awarded to the appropriate player. However, in the last couple of years, Heisman voters have started to move in the right direction. Devontae Smith was the best player in college football. And I think it's frustrating for fans sometimes to see when it's the best player that's also on the best team. USC, not the best team in the country, not one of the top four at the end of the year. But they've got the Heisman Trophy winner because the award in its purest form is given to the best player in college football, the most outstanding player in college football. And this season, that was Caleb Williams. That was 100% Caleb Williams. I would have, if I had a Heisman ballot, I wouldn't have put Stetson Bennett there, even though I think he's a really good player. I would have gone with Blake Corum or Hendon Hooker, either one, but probably Blake Corum. I would have had Caleb Williams first. I would have had Max Duggan second. I would have had Blake Corum third and probably CJ Stroud fourth. But when these awards are done correctly and given to the people most deserving, I think it's important that we as college football fans look at it and say, you know what? They got that right and good for them. Like the college football playoff this year. No complaints from me. That's who I wanted it to be. I didn't want him to put Alabama in there. I didn't think USC should have gotten in with a second loss. I didn't want to see TCU at 12-1 and one not get in, but they put him in. And they should have, and they did. And they got the four teams who have earned it the most. So when those sorts of things happen, because it's so easy to you know go on Twitter and criticize and say, this is wrong or this isn't right, or when things are not right, I certainly call them out. I call it as I see it here on the show. I, I trust you all know that for those of you that have been listening to me for a while. But giving this award to Caleb Williams is not what they it feels like they would have done in some years. And I think it helped tremendously that Caleb Williams was on USC because that's a much bigger brand than, say, Stanford. But it was eerily reminiscent of that Heisman race. You had a guy whose team was in the playoff in the national championship hunt who deserved to be a Heisman finalist in Derrick Henry. But the best player in college football that year was Christian McCaffrey. But he plays out on the West Coast. And he played a lot of games late at night. Not as many people watched him. And so he finished second when he should not have. It is the greatest Heisman snub in the history of Heisman snubs. And had Caleb Williams not won this award, it would have been another snubbery, which is a word that I might have just made up five seconds ago. Williams was so good. And I talked about it on this show really all season long as it progressed, it's like, man, Caleb Williams is ridiculous, but also they are so reliant on him to do the spectacular. And that showed up in the Pac-12 championship game in a bad way for USC. He got a little hobbled with the injury and the offense was not the same when he was not able to make these unbelievable jaw-dropping plays that do garner him the Heisman Trophy and put him in that discussion and thankfully got him the win this year. But that's why, to me, he was the Heisman Trophy winner, because of what that Pac-12 championship game looked like, how important he was. He was not at 100% in that game, and still had his team in contention for a while, got away from him late. But when you take away the best of Caleb Williams, USC is not at their best this season, because it's year one, and they still had a remarkable year and an amazing turnaround that has surpassed my expectations and the expectations of many others as well. That's the most outstanding player in college football. If you want Max Duggan over Caleb Williams, I get it. I'm just saying I watched a lot of Max Duggan this year. He's a great player. Deserves to be a Heisman finalist. Really glad he got it. Pulling for him in the college football playoff because I love the underdog. I, TCU is the underdog of those four. They're not a big brand. They're the Cinderella story, the comeback kids who just keep finding a way to win games. But Williams was the most spectacular. He deserved to win. I'm glad he did. They got it right. Props to you, Heisman voters. I don't always think you get it right. 
It's one particular instance that I already talked about where you got it very, very wrong. But sometimes they get it right, and I think it's fair to point point out that 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 is that that's what's happened this year. So the Pac-12 has got its first Heisman Trophy in I think eight years was eight years. Yeah, twenty. Yeah, I'm really amazing at math. Uh, Mariota was the last uh, Pac-12 Heisman winner. 